Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, today me and the boys are going to show you how to turn a round baler, well, a round bale feeder into a mobile pig shelter. This is a gift given to me by somebody in our church. And so he has used this as a pig shelter on his farm. And so I'm gonna show you everything that I've done so far uh, to, to turn this into a mobile pig shelter for our pigs. So this is as far as we've got so far. We have a 16 foot hog panel that I just used baling wire, 14 gauge baling wire to fix to the side around this round bale feeder. So I made it as secure as I could. The reason I'm putting the hog panel up is I'm gonna put a tarp out on the outside of that and I don't want the pigs to be tearing up the tarp. So hopefully the hog paneling will prevent that. And hopefully I have a long enough tarp to do that. We're gonna check that out. All right, so we have assembled our materials. We have scrap lumber that we found in our garage when we moved in. Connor, you can get down off the ladder now. And so these, this board here looks to be like a, I don't know, a one by six. It is six feet, eight inches long. And then this is a pressure treated one by eight that has been ripped to about one by five. But again, these are this is all just scrap lumber that we found in our garage when we moved into our house. So you'll need some pieces like this um, that can span your round baler, which is eight feet long. And then the reason that this six foot eight one works is obviously because the circle is at a different part on this uh, circle. So the next thing you're gonna need is some U-bolts. Connor, grab that half inch wrench. Some U-bolts like this. These are, uh, according to the tag, 5 sixteenths by three and a half by half inch. Uh, sorry, by two and a half. So that means that they are two and a half inches in, two and a half inches apart at the tip of the bolt. They are three and a half inches long and uh, supposedly, I don't, I think the five sixteenths is the, the size of the bolt because we know that that half, hold that up, that half inch wrench is what is needed for the nuts at the top. So you need a, a few U-bolts. We are going to be using four of these today. I have seven. We're going to be using four. So the next thing we're going to do is mark the holes that we need to drill to get those U-bolts onto through the wood. So that's what's coming next. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. We've been sick for the last couple of days. Don't worry, it's not that COVID. Now I'm holding up the U-bolts and marking where the legs hit. So that one hits there. I'm just gonna put a cross there. And then this one hits over here. So that's marked. Let's go to the other side and do the same thing. Here, move the camera under. Bring it under. Now, view, now make it view up. Here we go. Boom. 
All right, now we're gonna drill those holes and attach this to this round bale feeder. I couldn't find a 5 16 drill bit, so what I have is a 3 8 drill bit, which is gonna be fine because these are going to be held down by half inch bolts. And then they also have this piece that's gonna go between the bolts and the wood. So it's not that big of a deal that I'm using a bigger bit than the bolt. Actually, gonna bore these holes out a little bit. There we go. That'll work. Let's go do the next set. Connor is going to install this other one. So, yep, you put that on first, just like that. You screw the bolts on. Wow. Well, you can tighten those That's down with your fingers. Yeah. So, tighten them with your fingers That's first. The Get them all the way down to the bottom until your fingers can't turn them anymore. Other way. I get that wrench and tighten them on there. Other way. There you go. Other way. Yep. Righty tighty. Lefty loosey. Oh, that's nice. We're building stuff together, man. I know. It's awesome. I know. Nice and tight till you can't turn that wrench anymore. Think that's good? I can still turn it really easy. Oh, okay. Looks like I'm struggling. It's actually pretty easy to turn. Good. So this is good. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Good job, Connor. Here's the next step to this process. I have this old scrap plywood that came in a shipping crate uh, with our household good shipment from Alaska, which we'll get into more. And so I started thinking and realized that these U-bolts are long enough to pass through the support wood as well as the plywood. And so what I am going to do is I'm going to lay down the plywood where it needs to go and then I'm going to hit it with my three pound mallet to mark the holes, stop that Connor, to mark the holes where I need to drill so that this lays, the plywood lays flush against the support wood. And that's what we're gonna do. So here we go. Connor, you can come up with this. Okay. 
Yeah. Do I bring down the camera? What? Do I bring down the camera? No, just leave the camera there. <laughs> That's the next phase, and that's almost the last step. The last step is attaching that tarp to the outside of this. Did you find them? All right, bring them out, bring them out.
Connor and I just finished lunch and now we're here to move the pig shelter into the enclosure where the swine are. Now, this, this is the first time that we're gonna have this open, this, the enclosure open for an extended period while the pigs are in there. But they are trained to food now and they love hanging out with us. So hopefully, even if they get out of the enclosure, we'll be able to get them back in with some food because we haven't fed them since this morning and they like afternoon treats sometimes. So I'm gonna attach this to the mower. Here is the pig shelter that we have built in a day using 14 gauge wire, heavy duty wire to affix a 16 foot hog panel to a round bale feeder. Then we got some support scrap lumber that we had laying around put those across the round bale feeder and using u-bolts attached it all to the top to cover one half of this round bale feeder then we took an old blue tarp that we had which was i guess 15 feet might be a little bit more yeah 15 feet by 10 feet. We folded that in half and putting the folded side on the top where it meets the roof, we figured would be best. And we attached it all the way around with zip ties. We had to poke holes in it, but every portion of this where we poked holes is actually covered by the overhang of the roof. And so I don't foresee that being a problem. If it is a problem, we'll have to come back and fix it, but until then, it's not a problem. So now I'm gonna attach this to the mower and then the next video will be driving this into the pig enclosure.
So you can get your phone in front of their nose. Oh, is that what you do? Them over here. I subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Done. So now we're going to get them used to that, and then we'll be moving them around pasture on that alone. So, all done. Well, not on that alone. We're going to use the pig netting to keep them in, to keep them contained. But that's their new house. They won't be under the shed anymore. Y'all have a good day. We'll see you next time. Bye.